the last thing before we sign off, Brian, we got to just mention somebody who said out loud what they think they're going to get out of it if when once they sign up. <laughs> Zachary Levi, man, bitter over Shazam because he thought he was going to be someone like Chris Evans. Who else was the other? Some beast. Oh, no, the like, other one is the one you got to talk about. So the quote one? is the quote is from Hollywood Reporter that Zachary Levi, who has effectively left Hollywood, um, got some headlines this week for endorsing Donald Trump, in which he called that quote career suicide. <laughs> um, not a political comment. That's his comment, not mine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but obviously, Zachary Levi was uh, he was in Thor: The Dark World, and then he becomes Billy Bass, and he comes to Shazam. And then the quote is, world? he was one of the Warriors three. Zachary Levi? Yeah, in the second one. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Someone close to him, right? It's an unnamed source. So it's, quote, when he was cast as Shazam, it was literally his dream. He thought this was his ticket to being Chris Evans or The Rock. But it didn't <laughs> happen for him, and he's bitter about that. End quote. Now, I just have to say, the fact that they put The Rock in that quote to me is so hilarious considering that it would have been perfectly reasonable for Zachary Levi to say, as Shazam, I would get to play opposite the Rock, the Rock, yes. Rock as Black Adam. And instead, as we know, The Rock said, I'm too good for you. I have to play opposite Superman and everyone else. We know how it, and we know how it all played out for everyone. Yeah. To the demise of the DCE. <laughs> You can't possibly tell me that that end credit scene in the first Shazam with Mr. Mind, this, this worms like creature and be like, oh, snap. You can't, you, you, you can't get excited for that. And then you come up with a semi team up movie of Shazam characters that just was like, it just wasn't going to work. I think in retrospect, you know, we, we know what we know now about the history of superheroes in box office. The real warning sign for this was how little money it made at the time the first one came out. Because it was... How much did it make the, the first time? So the first one, the budget, like, I believe, was 130 and it made like 300 <laughs> So they made a little bit of money. <laughs> Critically, it was really well received. Yes. And it came out. In, I didn't like it, but go ahead. It came out in the 2018, 2019 time period. Captain Marvel, Aquaman 1. You know, now we've had classics, right? Black Panther, Infinity War, Endgame. Like, but the point is, everything superhero in that era was making serious dollars, no matter how good or average it was. Mm -hmm. So for the fact that this thing kind of didn't find a huge audience, probably should have been the warning sign that the sequel was doomed before it was ever made. And the sequel bombed spectacularly and wasn't as well received. But I, I'm just pointing that out. Like that's a movie that probably in 2018, 2019 should have made like 750. And the fact that it didn't tells you that people just, regardless of how well he was playing the character, just weren't interested in having this character around. And see, this is the thing. Oh, it doesn't have to be connected to anything. It could stand on its own and be good. It was good, but it didn't produce what executives really want, which is money, right. right? Had that been a part of something or leading towards something, more people perhaps would have gone. But that, Maybe. But that's where he got screwed by The Rock. How do you see it any other way? If The Rock had yeah. done Black Adam in With 2017... Him. Or twenty like around that movie, and the credit scene had been they're gonna go head to head in the sequel. Come on, tell that's, me that's tell me yeah, that doesn't yeah. help both sides of that equation. I'm, the Rock playing that character, playing his hand the way he did around that character, doomed not only his own movie but killed that franchise too. What would the Rock say to that? 
I mean, he would tell me he, he would probably he would, he would probably he would probably hit me with a spine buster and pull his pull his elbow pad off. And yeah. your reaction stated really quickly what it would be BS because you ruined that whole thing. Regardless of what you have to say about it, you ruined it. I just don't see how even, and the thing is, this is not something in hindsight being 2020. This is something we could have talked about in the moment, knowing just the comics legacy of these characters. It's been like, if you introduce Shazam and they got a good Shazam movie with a good Billy Batson, that credit scene has to have Dwayne Johnson in. It has to. And it, it, it automatically gets people buzzing. And then if he does his movie, and then there's a credit scene where Shazam, they're clearly going to go ahead. Like, I'm, there's no this way that the, that loses. You know why, too? Because you create this unbeatable foe because you don't believe Shazam. He's like Ralph Macho. He can't beat Johnny. <laughs> and you see him being pummeled and you're sort of trying to root for him for, to overcome. And, 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 and I don't know how he does it. He probably does, a, you know, one of those kicks that whatever. Right? <laughs> he beats him. That's what you were going for, man. And you and 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 oh man, you know. It's like how do you work with somebody that's gonna pull the obvious dough and he damn you see what I'm saying, man? It's like you don't wanna look I'm not an expert or anything like that, but it's like there's obvious things there that you can do there to because at the end of the day, yeah, you want to make money, but you want to please the fans because they're the ones that are giving you the money. Yeah, but th in this particular case, it shows that the people in The Rock's inner circle don't understand this particular fan base, right? I mean, I think the fact that his own movie ultimately played out the way it did and people didn't respond to it tells you that. Like, The Rock definitely understands entertainment. He understands it far better than I do. But there is a difference when you tread in certain genres, when you tread in the Star Wars universe, when you tread in the James Bond universe, when you tread in Marvel or DC, like they aren't just everyday fans. And you need to figure out a way to please both sides of the aisle, both the hardcore fan and the casual fan. And I think if The Rock had an open ear and he had the right people or persons in his inner circle kind of saying, listen, this is the kind of thing that you have to play the long game. Like you have to invest up front to get to where you want to go. You can't just skip to the front of the line. Yeah. Then I think we could be in a slightly different place than we are today. Um, but I, I just think the rock's perspective is he's the business. He's the draw. He's the thing that's going to get people in seats and there anything else that doesn't uh, point towards him. He, it doesn't, it's whatever. I get it, but I'm saying. So does he understand entertainment? I mean, he does. I don't know. He does. I can't, I mean, like by and large, most people, like 99.9% .9 of people would trade careers in Hollywood with The Rock's career. Like that's, that's just true. Because you, can't, he's in a position, like, you can't argue that, but. No, because here's the thing, Brian, that he is in a position where he calls the shots and that's something that he set out to do. And that mentality of doing business doesn't work for everyone, as we already have laid it out with Black Adam and Shazam. It was his decision. The reason why Black Adam took so long is because he was busy with other stuff. Well, that's why I say he killed Shazam, because he was Black Adam. He was signed already years before this. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's not a pipe dream to say that he could have been in the credit scene of Shazam and then built. He was already in the building signed. So. But if he chose... Correct. I don't and think this. the thing is, you know the studio went to them because they understood well enough what they were trying to do. So you know who blocked it. It was him. Like, it it just, there's no other version of that story that I'll ever believe. Like, I'll never mm -hmm. believe even the dumbest Warner Brothers executive, and that might be saying something, was in a room with making a Shazam movie saying, we're not going to connect this to Black Adam at all. Of course they were going to connect to Black Adam. That's what they wanted. That's what they envisioned. Like, it, of course, and of course they went to his people and they were like, what? That's the GA. Yeah. what I understood. But my point is, look, if you look at his career, he, his biggest successes come when he's been made to do that. <laughs> like when he was introduced in Fast Five, he's not the sole lead of Fast Five. He enhances Fast Five by being part yeah, of the ensemble. It's yeah. only when he then outgrows that and goes, that's when it goes off the rails. 
Yeah. Like I even think of something like an animated form, like you know, when he's in Moana, like he's not Moana, <laughs> like he's co lead of that. Yeah, it works because yeah, yeah, he's yeah. sharing, and people love Maui. Yeah. Um, you know, so it, it ironically, like his, spotlight, his career man. shows that like when he does play ball, he gets better results. <laughs> and so when we grade the Rock's career, like. <laughs> Like I said, 99.9% .9 of people from a commercial and celebrity standpoint would trade their lives for The Rocks. But I also, and I think you also, we're grading The Rock against his own ceiling. And we're arguing that this is a guy who has left so much on the table. He's that athlete that could have been Michael Jordan and wound up being like a two-time All-Star. <laughs> it's not a bad career. Yeah, I got paid yeah. a lot of money, but you could have been a legend. Yeah, and you yeah, yeah. chose not to follow the paths that would have gotten you there. Because he wanted to do his own thing. He, yep. I mean, I get it. Like, you did the Tooth Fairy joint. What, what I don't know, some of these these whack movies that, they, that you allowed yourself to be in because you were probably new to the industry and you didn't know any better or you didn't have a lot of say as to what you wanted to do until you made it far enough that you could do it. And then you st and people just loved him right and people still do but it's not producing great product no like yeah you you did yeah it's the thing is yeah you you went for you chose control over greatness like you would rather call the shot collaboration possibly you would it. rather call the shots on a skyscraper a rampage or in a san andreas than you, mm -hmm. than you would star in the new predator where you'd have to share with the modern day equivalent of carl weathers and be directed by the modern day equivalent of john mctiernan you you chose not to do that because you could have had that part in a second if that's what yeah. your agent wanted, if that's what you and your agent want yeah. and shazam is no different that's the perfect like if you had chosen to be here with zachary levi you both probably could have gotten here yeah. because you had to make it like this from day one everything ended up down here and he doesn't get defeated. The Rock doesn't get defeated. He would have had to be defeated by Shazam. Like, you kidding? I'm pretty sure that's what he's thinking. Like, really? Yeah. Shazam going to be He had in his contract that he couldn't be, he couldn't be, be under Vin Diesel for more than X amount of time. You know that he would have restrictions <laughs> on any sort of... That same would, that's, that's why people who are like, you know, Henry Cavill, Superman, like, you, be glad that that never went anywhere. Be glad. Because you would have seen Superman get job like, nothing else you've seen before opposite Black Adam. That's the only way he would allow it. Let us know in the comments. I know this turned into something else. <laughs> yeah, fun. But, you know, we, we gotta, gotta discuss... Subscribers. We gotta give them range. We gotta give them yeah, range. Yeah, 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 because, you know, Shazam, man, that, that could have been something, but nah, you got this worm-like creature trying to threaten. <laughs> and it's like, nah, man, it's not gonna work. Um, but let us know what you guys think of that whole situation. I would be interested to know what you think about all that and how The Rock's career... Do you, com do you think... Who's your top three? To me, he ain't there. Top three. I like what? the in terms of action, action film. Yeah. To me, yo, I have I can sit and watch a whole bunch of Van Damme movies before I can watch a whole bunch oh, of we're rock doing movies. all time. Oh, he's not even in the he's not in the top five. That's what I'm saying. I mean, Arnold Sly, Prime Willis, Prime Van Damme, Keanu, like. I gave you five right there. It's not even like a discussion. And then we can get into like, yeah, I don't know, Prime Seagal. I don't know if he's he's there, but you know, he has some good joints that you would watch, though. Yeah, his joints is just, I don't know. But let us know in the comment section below what you guys think of all this, and uh, we'll see you next time on the Nerd Gen Report.